Hello everyone. So I have a new article that comes from a website called massivelyop.com. I am not familiar with their website, however, they have an article where they are quoting from Mainframe, the creators of PAX Day. So I figured we'd go over it and see what you guys think. Uh, I'm going to start from the top, so here we go. Mainframe Industries has released a long post on both social media and Discord explaining to PAX Day fans just what's going on with the newly early access MMORPG. The devs begin by explaining that while they, while they value communication and transparency, sometimes they're not talking for a reason. As in, that sometimes they're staying quiet on purpose. Now, here is a direct quote from Mainframe. Sometimes we need to stay quiet because we are not sure and don't want to make false promises. And sometimes we can't let you know because we must keep secrets. The studio writes, we get it. You want updates, details, and news faster than a tele teleportation spell. But here's the deal. We're a small, passionate team. What we lack in numbers, we make up for with dedication. We pour over every detail we share, ensuring it's as accurate as a master craftsman, craftsman's handiwork." End quote. And I will say that I've talked to them on Discord. Um, they've said that their team is about 70 people-ish, which is amazing when you consider what they're trying to do with PAX Day and the fact that they have such a small team. I mean, if you add up the costs, it's going to be between 9 to $10 million to even start building a game like PAX Day. So, the, the, I mean, that alone should tell you that they're in it, you know, like they're in it for the long haul. You got a small team of people trying to create a new revolutionary game that's not really been done before at this scale of what they're attempting with it being an MMO. Um, there's just a lot here. And they are they are a small team. So I think we can give them a little bit of slack on that, on the amount, you know, the lack of content being pushed out in a fast pace. I mean, think about bigger MMOs, right? they will take months or years before they give an update and this game definitely needs more content absolutely it, it needs a good amount of content added to it honestly it is very addicting it is very fun and it is very good for what it is and i appreciate what they are trying to do however it it does need a huge update with content and and they know that so let's continue this article Mainframe also discusses the process it uses to identify and squash bugs, how it considers feedback, and why content rollout is slow in coming. I mean, I think we all know why it's slow in coming. It's a very small team working on a very big project. That alone should kind of tell you that. Okay, another quote from Mainframe. We know you're eager for new adventures, things to discover and explore, and new features in PAX Day. Believe us, we're just as excited to share them, but crafting content is like brewing a delicate potion. It requires precise ingredients, meticulous stirring, and a lot of testing to get it right. Sometimes it can also take months between the kickoff of a feature and its full working implementation. Who said horses? Question mark. We prioritize delivering as much polished and thrilling experiences as possible rather than rushed ones. Even if sometimes we prefer a first clunky implementation over nothing. So we thank you for your patience as we perfect every new edition. End quote. Now I will say, here where they're saying, who said horses? Question mark. I hope they're being facetious or, you know, messing around or something. Because I, th there have been devs from Mainframe who have gone on... Uh, podcasts, other YouTube channels. I've seen them do interviews. They've definitely heavily implied um, horses. They've they have pretty much guaranteed mounts in one form or another. We don't know if we're getting pack mules or carts or what type of mount we are getting, but they have said that we are getting mounts. So for them to say who said horses? Question mark. I find that irritating, and I'm hoping that I'm reading too much into it. I'm hoping that they're just messing around because, again, they've gone on podcasts, they've gone on YouTube channels, they've talked, they've had interviews, and all of that has been heavily, heavily implied. So I guess we shall see. 
Now, to finish this article, over on Steam, reviews are mixed. The game is still seeing around 4,000 peak concurrent players daily, which I honestly expected it to be more than that. 4,000 daily? That's pretty abysmal, so... Anyways, um, which is down from its all-time peak around 12,000 last month at the early access launch. The next patch, which... <laughs> got a little tongue-tied for a second. The next patch will mainly contain fixes and is expected to deploy midweek next week, which I have a video I already made about the next upcoming patch. So if you want, you can go check that video out. Um, what do you guys think about this article? What do you think about what they are quoted to have said? I ha It gives me a lot of feelings, and honestly, I'm slightly more annoyed about it I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm kind of annoyed about it. I'm understanding, and I I totally get that it's a small team doing something huge. They are working on a very large project. I understand that. Content taking time to be implemented. I, of course, understand that. I also make video games. I am a, I, I've been making video games for a very long time. I completely get where they're coming from with that. However... If they're going to try walking back stuff that was said previously, like who said horses, question mark, that's going to irritate me because they have heavily implied it. They have said we're getting mounts. I mean, they've talked about fishing. They said they're working on fishing. Um, th there is a lot of things that they have in one form or another basically said, yeah, we're working on it and you're going to get it eventually. We just don't know when. So if they're going to start walking back things,